क्लास इलेवेन मैथमेटिक्स एन सी आर टी निू डेली एन कोसे मनीपुर यूनिट्री कॉर्डिनेट जोमेट्री टॉपिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू थ्री डायमेंशन एंड जोमेट्री सब टॉपिक डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू पॉइंट्स एक्सरसाइज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू Find the distance between two points P whose coordinates are x1, y1, z1, and Q whose coordinates are x2, y2, z2. Let P and Q be two points. Draw a parallelopipe by drawing planes passing through P and Q and parallel to the coordinate planes. This. Right triangle AQN, A and Q. Right triangle A N Q, which is right triangle, right angle at N. Applying Pythagoras theorem, we get Q A hypotenuse square equal to Q N square plus N A square. Again, right triangle A P Q, A P Q, right angle at P angle P A Q. Hypotenuse PQ square equal to QA square plus PA square. QA square is already equal to QN square plus NA square. Now QN, now QN, which is difference between Z2 minus Z1. NA is difference between X2 minus X1. PA is difference between Y, which is Y2 minus Y1. Putting these values in the above, we get Q P P Q square is Q N is equal to Z two minus Z one square. N A is equal to X two minus X one square. P A is equal to Y two minus one square. Therefore, P Q taking positive square root of this, X is here, Y, y is here, Z is here. Which is the distance between the two points. P and Q whose coordinates are x1, y1, z1 and x2, y2, z2. 2. The distance of the point x, y, z from the origin is denoted by OP which is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square. The distance of P whose coordinates are x, y, z from x, y, y, z and x, z planes are z, x, y respectively. Question 1. Find the distance between the following pairs of points. These two points. Here A denotes the first point and B denotes the second point. Therefore, distance between A and B is denoted by AB, which is equal to positive square root of x2 minus x1. That is 4 minus 2 whole square. Plus y2 minus y1. That is 3 minus 3 whole square. Plus z2 minus z1. That is z2 is 1. Z1 is 5. 1 minus 5 whole square. This is 4, 4 which is 0, 4 which is 16, there is 20 whose square root is 2 root over 5. Roman number 2. Here, the given point, the first point is denoted by A and the second point is denoted by B. Therefore, distance between A and B is equal to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. Giving their Respective values and solving, we get square root of 43. Roman number 3. First point is denoted by P, second point is denoted by Q. Therefore, PQ is using distance formula, we get 1 minus 1 minus 1, that is 1 plus 1 whole square. Y2 minus Y1, that is minus 3 minus 3 whole square. Plus Z2 minus Z1, that is 4 minus of minus 4, that is 4 plus 4 whole square whose square is 4, whose square is 36, whose square is 64. We get 104, whose square is 2 times of square root of 26. For Roman number 4, the first point denotes P and Q denotes the second point. Therefore, PQ distance between D2 is minus 2, minus 2 whole square. That is minus 2, minus 2 whole square. That is 2 plus 2 whole square. Then, uh, x1 minus x2 whole square is this and y2 minus z2 minus z1 whole square is 3 minus 3 whole square 
whose value is 16, whose value is 4, whose value is 0. We get 20, whose square root is 2 times root over 5. Question 2. So that the, the three points are collinear. Let A denotes the first point, B denotes the second point, C denotes the third point. Therefore, AB using distance formula, we get square root of 14. And for BC using distance formula, we get this, whose square root is 2 times square root of 14. For AC using distance formula, we get this, whose value is 3 times square root of 14. From these three values, we have learned that AB plus BC, sum of the two smaller is 3 root of 14, which is equal to this and which is again equal to AC. Therefore, sum of two segments is equal to third segment. This shows that A, B, C are collinear. Hence, the given points are collinear. Question number three. Verify the following. These three points are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. We have to show that these three points are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. A denotes the first point, B denotes the second point, C denotes the third point. Using distance formula, we get distance between A and B is AB, which is equal to positive square root of this. Using distance formula and simplify, we get 3 times root 2. Distance between B and C is denoted by C, which is equal to positive square root of this, and whose value is 3 root 2. Therefore, AC is also using distance formula, we get 6. From these three values, we have learned that AB equal to BC. AB equal to BC and does not equal to AC. The triangle formed by these three points, two sides are equal. Hence, the given points form an isosceles triangle. For Roman number 2, these three points are the vertices of a right angle triangle. Let A, B, C denotes the first point, second point, third point respectively. Then A, B is using distance formula, we get 3 root 2. B, C is also 3 root 2. And A, C is also 6. Thus, A, B square plus B, C, B, C square, there is 3 root 2 whole square, equal to 6, which is equal to A, C square. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, ABC is a right angle triangle. Hence, the given points are the vertices of a right angle triangle. Verify the following. These four points are the vertices of a parallelogram. These four points are the vertices of a parallelogram. ABC denotes the points respectively. This, therefore, AB using distance formula, we get 6. BC using distance formula, we get square root of 43. For DC, we get 6. For AD, we get root of 43. Thus, AB equal to AB equal to DC. And uh, BC equal to BC equal to AD. BC equal to AD. Therefore, ABCD is a parallelogram. Hence, the points form a parallelogram. Number four, find the equation of the set of points which are equidistant from the point this and this. We have to find out equation of the set of points which are equidistant from the two given points. Let the point P, X, Y, Z be equidistant from the two given points. Then A, P equal to B, P by given condition. Squaring on both sides using distance formula for left side A, P square, we get this expression. For right side, we get this expression. Expand and cancel, we get this, this equation. This is the required equation of the set of points. Five. Find the equation of the set of points P, the sum of whose distances from A and B is equal to equal to 10. Let A denotes the first point, B denotes the second point. 
let P whose coordinates are X, Y, Z be the moving point. Then by given condition A P equal to B P is equal to 10. There's some stain. Using distance formula for A P we get this and for B P we get this equal to 10. Transfer transfer one term on from left to right and squaring on both sides we get this. Expand and cancel equal terms from on both sides we get again squaring we get this. By expanding we get this. Lastly, we get this, which is the, the equation of the set of points P. Thank you for watching video.